Hi, I'm Dominic. Welcome to Sveltable Vector Graphics. In part one, we are going to look at a fresh take on icon libraries and how you use them in Svelte. The classic way to use an icon library in Svelte is that you find one on NPM, you install it as a dev dependency, and then you import it in your component and use the icon in your template. However, there are some problems with this approach. Only a limited number of icon libraries is available on NPM, and they don't share a common API. So if you ever switch, you have to change your code. They are also sometimes not packaged right or no longer maintained. So let me introduce you to Unplugin Icons, which has over 100,000 icons available via the Iconify library, is easy to use, fully customizable to your needs, and it comes with optimized Svelte output out of the box. You simply install the plugin and an icon set from NPM. The full icon set is pretty large, but smaller sets are available too. Once installed, you configure it in your Vite config. You can change the scale of the icons, add a default style that's applied to every icon or a class. And you have to specify that you want to compile the icon for Svelte. Now that the configuration is complete, you can start to use it. It works the same way as with every other library. You import the component from a path and then use it in your template. You can also pass custom attributes that are passed on to the SVG. And that's it. This is all you had to do to show the SELT SVG in your application. So with two dev dependencies and a little bit of config, you can now use all the icons. But let me show you how it works. A SELT component imports a virtual icon, and then Unplugin Icons compiles this into a Svelte component source. And that just works with the Svelte compiler. What Unplugin Icons calls the Svelte compiler is in reality just a string transformation that turns a regular SVG into one that passes on the props and wraps the path or whatever else is inside into an HTML directive. Forwarding the props allows you to customize attributes at runtime or dynamic sizing or colors, for example. Wrapping the content in at HTML has another reason. Let me show you what happens. When the Svelte compiler compiles an SVG, it creates separate function calls for every node and every attribute inside the SVG. For inline SVGs in larger components or other dynamic use of SVGs, this is fine. It allows you to animate SVG and do lots of crazy things. Check out Ron Ow's talk, Whimsy in Motion, if you haven't seen it yet. It's astonishing what you can do with Svelte and SVG. But icons are largely static, and all these calls add up when the icon has a larger complexity than just a single circle. So let's see what happens when we wrap it in at HTML. This is still the same SVG as before, but as you can see on the right, the extra calls are gone, and instead there's just one string and only one assignment to inner HTML. This doesn't change when the SVG grows in size and complexity. It's still just one string and one assignment. Let's look at some questions you may have. There's a concern about bundle size, but this really isn't one. Each icon you import is only included once. So even if you import it multiple times, it's still only ending up one time in your bundle. With over 100,000 icons to choose from, it may be difficult to find the ones you want. But luckily for us, there is a page called econus.js.org where you can search all the icons available. And if Unplugin Icons doesn't fit your use case, stay tuned for part two of the series, where we are going to explore more SVG-related goodness.
But before we get to that, some credit where credit is due. Anthony Fu, who built not only Unplugin icons and Iconis, but also SLI.dev, which I used to make this talk. Joaquin, for Unplugin icons Svelte integration, he got in touch on Veep Discord, and it was a really great experience working on this. Thank you both so much. Also, all the contributors to Veet and Svelte, you are doing great work, and I'm so glad to be part of this community. You can check out the links on the right and follow the rest of Svelte Summit.